Howdy. In this video, I will briefly show you the interface itself uh, for the Power BI and then uh, also introduce a couple of uh, figures uh, for a, a data set that uh, Microsoft actually provides. Right? Uh, we'll use this data set for future uh, Power BI uh, exercises as well. One of the first steps is basically getting the data right uh, and in the power bi uh, you can get uh, uh, very uh, different types of data like uh, excel file of course csv files json files which is uh, another coding environment uh, access database uh, sql mysql you just name it you can uh, basically tr uh, tr uh, get the data from all those uh, sources. In our case, uh, I'm going to go and use a simplistic approach, just read from an Excel file, right? So uh, I could choose here saying Excel, or I could click here. So this is the financial sample data set we are going to use uh, for today's exercise. I already copied this file to downloads folder uh, on my computer. So I'm going to just select it. All right uh, if i can preview the files uh, by clicking uh, basically these names here in this uh, file that i'm opening there are two things one of them is the financials table and the other one is the sheet the difference between those two in this data set is uh, insignificant but uh, for a sheet uh, basically there might be a lot of other data points as well uh, and the boundaries of the sheet may not be defined, right? Uh, that's uh, that's the thing. In a, a table, though, you exactly know where the like column starts and ends, rows that starts and ends. So it uh, it usually has uh, a better structure, right? Again, in our case, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm gonna choose the sheet file to show you one more thing, okay? And let's load it now. Uh, the reason I choose this sheet one is that we don't really like to have names like sheet one because that is not descriptive and if you are doing something later you are going to try to under remember or understand what was in the sheet one. So let's say uh, rename it and say financial data. Right? That way whenever I see especially in the context of if I have uh, multiple sheet I would know that uh, which one of them has the financial data right now once I'm in this area basically uh, creating figures are very easy uh, I'm sure many of you have done uh, the figures with the Excel uh, you are going to just select one of the visualization figures here and then pull the data right in Excel usually you select the data and then say okay this is the uh, figure type I want to choose here you can do either way I'm gonna show uh, a bar graph let's say right this is an empty bar graph of course like um, then I need to decide what I would like to include in this bar graph all right for example I can include the sales data right so at this point what it did is basically it looked into the sales right and just create the single sales value which is the sum of all the sales right uh, and um, I can change this one uh, slightly by for example including the country names right now I can resize this figure uh, the size I want or as I showed it earlier I could just click it and uh, now what it did is basically it uh, created the list of uh, the countries and then uh, the sales have, uh, numbers. Right? It looks like this is a, a sorted list. If I want to sort it in another way, I could do this one. Um, this is uh, basically the uh, sales revenues uh, going from lowest to the highest. Uh, I could also sort by uh, county name, country names rather than the sales itself. Uh, here's the 
uh, sort list based on the country uh, names if I want to switch this to another type of bar graph and uh, this would be it uh, in some cases uh, having this uh, legends on this uh, or labels uh, this way makes uh, you know reading easier right it is much legible uh, for an eye to read uh, compared to perhaps this one right in this one again we have only five so it does not really make a lot of difference but if I had a long list uh, of items then it could have been uh, too crowded and in that case uh, it might have been a better idea to do the uh, other way around right so this is my first chart right uh, and um, with that I'm going to show you one more thing as well now in the left panel there are three options the first one is the chart option that I have already the second one is the data table right so here I could just go see uh, the data values and so forth uh, and basically initial and this one uh, it shows the relationships right in our case we have a single data table and everything is inside but if I was if I was pulling the data from multiple sources then I would have them here as well uh, at that point I could also show like which data fields are um, basically unique and uh, the way I need to contact or connect the customer information or the branch information with the others right uh, so again you can have the report you can have the data and model right and uh, that's the language they use so this is my first table as I said now um, here it is I could also add text right um, say let's say uh, sales report right uh, also I could adjust this where it goes I could put it in the middle and then uh, like put this one here let's say that is my first figure right uh, and then um, right let's say I will also add an area chart right and this time let's um, look into the gross sales and then the month name Right, here's my chart I, again this time it is kind of um, small that's what I uh, s was talking about earlier uh, so we can um, just see the relationship like when I look into the September here uh, it also shows like uh, or June it also shows the sales amount over there right and the March is here uh, of course I could also uh, like this one is ordered in the uh, month right? uh, the sales uh, revenues I can uh, go here and sort by the month name right this is how it would look uh, based on the month uh, whichever is meaningful right for your reporting purposes right uh, I'm just trying to show you how easy these things are let's do one more map and uh, let's make a country map right if I can see the country names okay let's do this one here all right so here's my countries uh, and then I could look into like say let's say cost of goods sold right and this is uh, the bigger the circle is uh, that means larger the uh, cost of goods sold let's also add a pie chart uh, famous pie chart here right and I can uh, locate it here and let's say uh, I want to look into we did the cost of goods sold uh, profit right and uh, per country Right. Uh, and that would be our profit per country and uh, here's how we do that now of course we can customize these figures um, as well for example uh, I could select color 
all right that's not easy to read perhaps this one uh, that makes it easier and I could go customize the rest as well I uh, do a lot of things here right right uh, once you are done with uh, creating the reports of course you need to uh, publish it publishing uh, puts it online um, let's save it first actually save as let's say chapar assignment right and i'm gonna save it over there and once that is done i can publish right so it's going to basically put it online so it's others can uh, actually sh uh, access it and once you are there i i always suggest uh, checking it so let me pull the website here so it is now on this website so now my you know report is online people can do analyze it uh, you know people i share with and um, based on that they can uh, basically make decision uh, give feedback and so forth uh, this is very basic power bi introduction uh, i i hope if you are interested in you uh, spend a little bit more time and prepare other reports as well uh, and also as i suggested earlier look into the training uh, videos and uh, there is um, many of them out there including the microsoft those um, prepared by microsoft uh, power bi is fun especially if you are interested in uh, playing with the data right you can uh, check a lot of things um, using power bi and it might be uh, also useful for your uh, capstone project